heard. Uh, this is a Cleveland thing, I guess. 9.5 I think it's from Youngstown. I've never heard it. Okay. You got 91.5, 98.5, which is definitely Say hi, Larry. Hey. Larry's driving us in his Jeep. We got the trailer in the back, and we are off to HGR and Machine. McKean Machinery, both in Cleveland, Ohio. The the land, as they call it. And uh, we're gonna get some good deals at HGR. They've got a big sale today. And free breakfast. Free breakfast. Oh, okay. Didn't know they're doing that. So, yeah, it's gonna be a fun little adventure. And we are here at HGR. What does HGR stand for again? Hit the ground running. Hit the ground running industrial surplus store. Oh yeah. C R E S C I M A double N O. Should I grab a donut? This looks like, wow. Go for it. Dang. Starting the morning off right. All right. We are now entering the main mother load of HGR glory. This is the wild Larry King in his natural habitat. He is forging for machining parts. He's wondering if it's two and a quarter eight. This is the electronics area. Ooh. This is glorious. So the problem is, a lot of this stuff looks cool. We don't know if any of it works. So sometimes we bring like a power supply or a extension cord to test stuff out, but we don't have anything this time. So I'm gonna just poke around, maybe buy some ten dollar equipment, plug it in, see if it works. If it does, great. If not, it's whatever. It's all part of the experience. Multimeter. These are all going for 18. It'll be nine with the half off price. thing is awesome. This is like, this, look at these buttons. That is sweet. I want to get a date on this thing. Date stamp, 1983. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that's how you change the voltage. What? These are awesome. <laughs> Here's an assembly for your horizontal. I don't know what size it is. That's 50T. Oh, yes. That there is a drill bit. I think it's absurdly large. I like this. You can rotate the table. Like, like the table spins that way. as well. Yeah. What? What do they use these little cutters for? Uh, they're gonna cut little like channel. channels and something. Not in bad shape, but it's tiny. Yeah. Small. So what do you you cut like a little keyway with that or something? Yeah, they were cutting a little channel or sling something on it.
Oh, jeez. Oh, but it's a uh, the the uh, what? what's it called? That. Still got the tool in it and everything. Yep. Jig bore. A jig bore on a boom spar. That's a nice spindle cleave you got there. My friends always make fun of me when we go sailing. This is sailing terminology. The jib spar boom. Look at that. Straight out of GM. <laughs> it just says a robot on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yes. Dang, dude. Look at that, like, giant switch. Yep, yeah, man. Turn it on! Increase amperage. This duct tape fixes every problem. Edwards 3. Like an Edwards 3000. It's an Edwards headache is what it is. It's like a fun time. Uh oh, he's opening it up. What are we going to find in here? <laughs> Sulfur something something? Sulfur hexafluoride. Ooh. That is like vacuum chamber material. That is super nice actually. Stainless. Do you think it's a... I can't imagine that they sell half of this stuff. No way! No way is people gonna, are people gonna buy this random crap. <laughs> hey man, he just bought some random crap. Who's gonna buy this monitor? Oh, it's an old vending machine. That's pretty cool. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I see a plan. X-ray source? Yeah, man. You're gonna x-ray some stuff. X-ray a rat. It's $149. It's kind of sad. These motors never had a chance. Um, <laughs> could it perhaps be an output shaft? Where do I sign? Got the signs on? Is it raining? Uh, beautiful Ohio. It's not raining, of course. We got a big bad Tektronix 7904A oscilloscope. And a little Acer monitor, an old box of vacuum junk that we're probably going to use and part out. Now on to McKean machinery to pick up a horizontal mill. It's going to be a good time. It's got the lever feet right now. Ah, they're just using it for what? We're gapping. They haven't got the. Uh, Looks like it's it looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's got yeah, it's on the too. Is it smooth? Yeah, it's it feels great. It's, it's really Look at this guy. <laughs> it's oh, kind of like old South Bend 16. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't know, it's got a riser on it. Yeah. That's weird. Is, not Is it Cincinnati? I don't know what it is. No, it's Hawa. Yeah. Kind of crunchy. Back in its day, maybe. Oh yeah, this guy needs more. So is jig bore the term for the type of machine, or yeah, it's like it's the type of machine? It's like jig bore. Not really meant for milling, as much as it is like drilling very precisely placed holes, and then maybe taking some like 
You can mill on it, but not really. Dang. This is a big old clunker. This is where it was at. It should still be smooth. These guys are nice. It is pretty smooth. This leg is nice. These guys now spin like 2,000 miles. Nice and heavy. I almost bought it. Holy smokes. That is a wrench, if I've ever seen one. And look at the tool this guy's spinning. This thing's crazy. How many? It's like 10 carbide insert. Yeah. Like, this is what the plan is for the horizontal. That's sweet. Well, we went to McKean Machinery, and the product was not right. There were some defects, flaws, not what we expected. So needless to say, we are coming home with no horizontal mill. But there will be more, many more opportunities for the acquiring of massive behemoths of machinery. So until next time.